Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily where I talk about all of the crafty goodness that I have been working on over the past couple weeks. There are two places that you can find me on the internet if you are interested. The first being on Instagram at birch.and.lily and the second on Ravelry at Birch and Lily. So today is obviously not my regular video and that is because I do have a pattern coming out. Um, I'm recording this the day before but this will go up the day of the release so it's released. Um, but yeah I have a new sock pattern coming out. These are the Four Winds socks. Another one of my Anne of Green Gables themed patterns. Absolutely love these socks. So I might as well go into details about them. I'm just gonna set one down so it's easier for me to hold. So these socks come in three sizes, your regular, small, medium, and large. Um, of course, size is always adjustable by changing needle size or anything like that. If you are curious, you can always ask me a question either on my email or down below in the comments and I'd be happy to help you figuring that out. Um, and they have a one by one twisted rib and a heel flap and gusset with a beautiful slip stitch pattern. Hopefully that is focusing, I think it is. <laughs> uh, and then just a wedge toe. And as you can tell, this pattern here is a beautiful mock cable. So if you have never cabled before, and are scared. This is perfect for you. There are no cables in this pattern. It is all simple knits, pearls, and then decreases and increases. Very easy to figure out if you are a first time or beginner knitter. I do find compared to a regular cabled sock that a mock cable gives you a lot more stretch. So if you do have issues with a cabled sock fitting you normally, these would be a perfect alternative. Um, and yeah, honestly, <laughs> That's about all I can say about construction. The yarn here that I am using is from Autumn and Indigo. The colorway is Winter Rose. And it is a 7525, their classic sock base. But these would work up wonderfully in an 8020, a 9010, anything like that. If you're unsure what a 7520 or anything like that means, um, that is telling you the merino content and the nylon content in the yarn. So this yarn has a content of 75% merino and 25% nylon. The nylon is what gives the sock the hard wearing ability. So if you are worried about wearing a sock out, you definitely want to pick something with a higher nylon content. But yeah, honestly, that is, I think, all that I have to say about these. I'll keep this video short and sweet, just so you are able to see these socks that are coming out. And like I said, there is going to be a sale on this sock pattern. I'm going to be running it for the weekend of its release and I will probably end it, I guess, Monday night is what I'll say. So the sock will be 40% off, no coupon code needed, just go on to Ravelry and add it into your cart and it will be available for 40% off for the, I guess, those three days. Today, the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd until midnight Eastern time. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about these socks, please feel free to ask me. I would be happy to answer you down in the comments. So yeah, I guess I will leave you guys here. Keep this short and sweet. Um, if you like what you saw today, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. And I will see you all again on Tuesday at 10 a.m. for my regular scheduled video. Bye.